Before you look at ID, you're going to do a recap of capital allowances. We said they are allowable expenses against the taxable income of a business. And we say the reason is that we want to grant a wear and tear or we want to recognize the fact that the non-current assets of a business are going to lose value as they continue being used in business. So we seek a standardized rate that is going to make sure that all taxpayers are equitable or they are treated fairly and in the same way. Now, we said capital allowances are in different categories. There is investment deduction, there is industrial building deduction, or IBD, there is wear and tear, there is shipping in investment deductions. For those who are in the shipping business, there is mining allowances for those who are in mining operations, and there is farm works deductions for those who are commercial farmers. So we're going to focus today on investment deduction. Now we're going to do a brief overview of uh, investment deductions. So like we said, it is an allowable expense an allowable deduction against taxable income of a business. Now, investment deduction is granted on a once of, let's write that in full. It is granted on a once of basis that is in the first year of use of the qualifying investment qualifying investment then three investment deduction id is not prorated or it's not in proportion to the period that the asset was used that the qualifying asset was used so we're going to look at what it means to be uh to have a qualifying asset but you're saying regardless of the time that you acquired the asset for example if you're dealing with the year of income 2017 and you've been in business in 2017 so long as you used that asset in that year it is going to qualify now the rate for i for id rate is a hundred percent of the qualifying cost or the cost of the asset cost of the qualifying asset now remember this this is the first year of use first year of use so remember, if you forget to claim capital allowances, you cannot claim in arrears. There's another rate of 150% of qualifying cost for qualifying investments. You're going to see what this means. Qualifying investments worth more than 200 million made outside the main cities that we have in Kenya, Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kisumu. All right, so we want to look at what is a qualifying investment. So this, if you look at this rate, 100%, it simply means that so long as the investment that you're making, for example, you've put up a factory, you want to recycle stuff or whatever it is that you want to process, um, you claim 100% of the cost that you have incurred in the first year of use of the uh, qualifying investment. So it means that that will simply, in most of the cases, it will 
reduce your taxable income to almost nil. Or in some cases, it will mean that you're going to carry forward and then you will, uh, you will for the first few years of operation, you will not be paying uh, taxes because of the, you're claiming investment deductions as you continue to invest. And uh, that means that for a business, it gives you time for you to be able to establish your business, get your clientele base going and uh, be able to ensure that the business is firmly founded and uh, established and ready to run. So we want to look at the qualifying cost. So for ID purposes, qualifying cost for investment deduction, what you're calling ID. So the qualifying cost is number one, the cost of a factory building. You remember under fiscal policy measures, you want to um, attract local and foreign investments. So what you are giving them as an, uh, as an incentive is anytime you put up a factory building, let's say you use 100 million in the first year, you're going to claim that reduce your taxable income with the 100,000 that you have spent in putting up the factory building. Two, there is processing machinery. Machinery, new or imported. Because if we put up a factory building and we don't have processing machinery, it means we are not able to convert our raw materials into finished product. So according to the Act, we're looking at the Act, remember, uh, the second uh, schedule to the Act. So according to the Act, a factory building is a building that is going to be in use in converting or it's going to be used to convert raw materials into finished products. So this machinery will help you in the conversion process. Then number three, there is what we shall call qualifying civil works. These are structures, works and structures. These are structures that are going to help you in accessing, for example, the factory building. So we're going to read this from the act, what the qualifying civil works and structures are. So for example, you'll have railway lines and we're going to have roads. If, for example, your factory is in a remote area, you need to do a, an access road, that road will qualify. Then you may need parking for your factory so that your trucks are able to deliver raw materials and take uh, the finished products. So the, ro the roads, the parking areas, um, and the railway lines, if you're near a railway and you need to see the rail, uh, then the bays and all that. Then machinery used for auxiliary purposes, auxiliary purposes. For example, provision of water, uh, disposal, provision and disposal of water. Let's have that. So you're going to have like a sewer or a drainage system, then clean up and disposal of industrial effluent. Then you're going to have machinery. So here for the provision of water, you're going to have a borehole you'll have a pump, then you may have reduction of environmental damage. Environmental damage. That is where, for example, on the processing machinery, you may need to fit stuff like silencers. So this is what is going to qualify for investment deduction. However, there is non-qualifying cost. QC stands for qualifying cost. Um, so one, cost of land on which the factory is constructed result. 
land does not depreciate, instead it appreciates. And capital allowances are supposed to replace depreciation. So the cost of land and incidental costs. Incidental costs on acquisition of land. Incidental costs is, uh, for example, uh, for you to be able to transfer that land, you may have to pay stamp duty. You may have paid legal fees because you needed to draft an agreement. Any cost that you incurred in, in buying the property and ensuring that you transfer the property from the seller to now you, you being the business, all that is what you're calling incidental costs. So we've just given examples of what the incidental costs could be. Uh, then the other one is cost of non-qualifying parts, non-qualifying parts these are parts that are not used not used for manufacturing purposes where they exceed ten percent of the total cost of the building. For example, showrooms, stores, shops. The backquarters and others. All right. Uh, we want to look at an, at an illustration that will now allow us to pick out what will qualify for investment deduction. Now, in computing investment deduction, it is very easy because you're taking, you look at where is the investment. Is the investment in Nairobi and its outskirts, Mombasa, its outskirts, or Kisumu and its outskirts. So you if it is, then you're taking 100% of the qualifying cost. So you just take the cost of the factory building, processing machinery, qualifying civil works, and machinery used for auxiliary purposes. 100% of that, claim that. Uh, then, if it is uh, in uh, outside the main cities, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, it's outside that, and the investment is worth more than 200 million Kenya shillings, then you claim 150% of the qualifying cost. Now, this is an incentive to decentralize the factories and be able to uh, tackle the problem of rural urban migration so that we don't have people moving into Nairobi because most factories are there. So we take the factories there, and once we establish a factory outside the main centers that are that are currently concentrated with manufacturing, then you get to claim a higher amount in, in uh, the ID rate. So remember, it is a, an incentive to the investors and it is deducted as an allowable deduction against the income of a company. Mm -hmm.